Have you heard of the Glomar response? It's a Cold War secrecy tactic, and the CIA just used it when they were asked about 3i Atlas. <laughs> and that choice has definitely raised some eyebrows. So, as we all know, the interstellar object just recently passed through our solar system, and it caused a stir. Now, NASA said it behaved like a normal comet. Uh, astronomers, both professional and amateur, searched for intelligent radio signals or techno signatures, and they didn't find anything definitive. But when the CIA was just asked if they're holding on to any information regarding 3i Atlas, they didn't say yes, and they didn't say no. They issued what's known as a Glomar response. We can neither confirm nor deny the existence of records on 3i Atlas. Here's why that matters. The Glomar response was created during the Cold War, and it was to hide a highly classified operation that involved a secret attempt to recover a Soviet nuclear submarine from the ocean floor. It's typically reserved for cases where even acknowledging the existence of information is considered extremely sensitive. And that is what raised eyebrows and speculation, because 3i Atlas... It's already publicly tracked, its orbit is known, its behavior is openly studied, so critics asked why invoke a secrecy tool designed for covert intelligence operations at all? Now, there's no definitive evidence that this object is alien technology, but the choice of silence and the CIA tool used to enforce it, that's what keeps people asking questions.